If you've got a set of cast iron grates for your grill and you're not quite sure how to take care of them, this is the video for you. Hey guys, this is Steve from Cookout Coach. We're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level, no matter what that means. So if that sounds like something you might need in your life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is maintaining your cast iron grates on your grill. There are several companies out there today offering cast iron grates for your grill as a feature. If you've been following my channel for long, you know for me, it's my egg cord. Surprisingly, I get messages from people and some of them are a little intimidated by their grill grate. They're not sure how to take care of them, is it okay if they get gunked up sometimes? Well, I'm here to tell you, for starters, these things are bulletproof. Let's talk about how to season these things up to develop that non-stick finish and help make these things near indestructible. So when you get your new set of cast iron grates, first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and light a fire in your pit and let it burn off some of those machining oils. This is pretty common for cast iron, things like carbon steel. It's just a good practice to get into. Just go ahead and light that fire, let it get up over 350. Usually these instructions are included in your new grill manual. Once we've got that initial burn-in done, all we're gonna do is add some sort of high flash point oil to these grates. For me today, that's gonna to be as simple as vegetable oil. For you, it could be baking grease, it could be cottonseed oil, it could be any number of oils, but make sure it's one with a high flash point. What this will do is get into the pores of that metal and help protect that brand new surface from all the things that would cause it to maybe rust or corrode some other way. Once you get that first layer of oil applied, Go ahead and close your pit, keep it running at about that 350 degree temp and let that oil bake on. As the oil continues to bake on, you're gonna do this two or three times until you get a good dark color on your grates. Once you get that good set in color, you know that they're protected. That's really all there is to seasoning these cast iron grates. It's just like if you had a good frying pan, you treat it the same way. The second question I get a lot is, I've got a whole bunch of stuff gunked up on my, my egg corn's grates. What do I do to clean it now? As a barbecue, I throw everything on my egg corn from pork butts to pork belly to beef brisket to chuck roast. There's a lot of fat in those meats and it renders out onto these grates. And while I do my best to scrape my grates before I start, sometimes you get gunk that just won't come off. I'm here to tell you that most of the time, I just don't worry about it. It's cooked on, it's seasoned. You know, it's either grease or it's carbon at this point. One will come off, one might not come off, but it's not gonna hurt you. That being said, every once in a while I like to perform a deep clean on my grates and this is how I do it. I'm gonna start by filling my grill with charcoal and lighting at least three quarters of a chimney. You're gonna let that grill come up to at least 600 degrees. You can go even higher if you like. For me, 600 degrees is fine. Think of this as running the self-cleaning cycle on your oven, but you're doing it on your Kamado. You're gonna to wanna to let this go for at least two hours. At the two hour point, go ahead and open your lid and check. You'll be able to tell at that point if it's clean or not. It'll either look like carbon and something that'll brush off or not. If it doesn't look like it's ready to brush off, close the lid and let it keep on going. When you do finally get to that point where you think you're done, take your grill brush and brush it off. When you brush it off, you'll notice your cast iron is a lighter shade now. You've just stripped the finish. Now all you need to do is go back to the first part of this video and repeat those seasoning steps and you're good to go for a while. So today was a quick video, but it's an important video because you need to be comfortable with your equipment. So I hope you guys like this. Thank you for coming along with me for this one. And as always, till next time, y'all take it easy.